Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So you've burnt an image of Raspbian Bullseye to your Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 or 5, for example, and you just can't access it. You can't get into it putting an IP address in. You've tried putty and you just can't access it. So what do you do is grab the SD card from your Raspberry Pi, put it into your SD card adapter into your PC, and this will appear with all the files, okay? As you can see. You need to add a file that is called SSH. So how do you do that? You just right click, you go new document, where is it? New text document down here at the bottom, make sure it's text, and you literally just type SSH. Now grab that SD card and put it into your back into your Raspberry Pi and boot it. You then need to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And how do you do that? Download this program here. I'll put the link in the description. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. It basically scans everything on your network. And you do have to be on that network. So if your Raspberry Pi is on a network called Mercury, for example, so does your PC that you're trying to use to access it. Because imagine an if it's wireless, an invisible wire connecting everything. So if you look here, it says Raspberry Pi, and I've got 192.168.106 there. So let's put that in here, and it should let us in now. So we're going to go 192.168.0.106, okay? And then leave it as SSH and click Open. And if you've done it correctly, it will allow you to log in. Now, I've created a password, but I think the default is Pi and Raspberry. Uh, but I'm just going to log into mine, FXB. Um, and then my password, which I'm not going to give you that. And note that when you do type that, you don't even see it. So the next thing you're going to type is this, sudo. Now remember, I'm not an expert. I'm literally learning in front of you. And so I really recommend you just dive in and learn stuff, even if you know zero about it. Just do it. Right, sudo raspberry config, enter, ta-da. Now, we are now in sort of a configuration and there's so many things that you can configure in this, but what we're interested in is allowing VNC because there's a program called uh, VNC Viewer which has allows us using our Windows computer or our phones, I think, to view the screen of our Raspberry Pi without having to plug a screen in because that can be a pain in the neck. I mean, there's so many options here. Look at it, configure, system settings, display, connect to peripherals. It just is, I advise you just sit there and just look at all this different stuff and you can update as well. Look, we're not gonna do that now. But go down, you do have to make sure you click it, otherwise it won't let you go. The, just the arrows on your keyboard. Go down to, let's have a look now. Let's try configure uh, advanced settings. Enter. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I think it's interface options. So number three, enter. And look, VNC. And we could, in this bit, we can actually enable SSH, but we've already done that. SSH is ju it just means you're going to be able to link in to your Raspberry Pi, you know, via a PC. Uh, that's, that's now my take on it. So go down to 13, hit enter, and then you want to click. So says, would you like to... VNC server to be enabled, you go yes. Go to the left arrow, yes, okay? And that's it, click okay, it's enabled. You don't even have to close this window. Now we're gonna, you're gonna download VNC Viewer. I'm gonna put the, the links into the description. So let's just open mine up. VNC Viewer, and that's what it looks like. So we put in the same IP address that we just used we don't even have to close anything else. 192.168.0.106, and then connect. And if it if you're if it's good, you will get this kind of message. Okay. Leave that out of the way. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B in this at the moment. And then you just go continue. And then I'm gonna have to put in my password, username and password that I set up when I first loaded my Raspbian image. And then just, I'm gonna tell it to remember and click okay. And ta-da, 
we are we are now have the desktop here of our Raspberry Pi. How cool is that? And if you've got a real fast one like a Raspberry Pi five, you can do so many. You know, it, it's just good. But this three is not too bad. If I click Explorer, that'll boot, and then you can see we've got Bluetooth device, Wi-Fi. We've got speaker control, volume control, should I say? Updates are available. Yes, install the updates. Definitely do that. You can and you can actually update using that that um, sort of putty type connection that I showed you. So I think that's enough for this video. But this is going to allow you to start having lots of fun with your Raspberry Pis. Thanks for watching my Hamtech channel. Bye for now. All the best.